Make sure to stay till the end of this video to receive $10 million. Okay, that's not true, but that is a call to action. And if it were true, it would definitely be a call to action that converts. So what does that mean? You want to write call to actions that inspire your viewers or your prospects to take action. You ultimately want them to do what you've asked them to do. In the example that I just gave you, I asked you to stay till the end of the video. The reason I gave you to stay to the end of the video was $10 million. Now that's an inspiring call to action. When we hear the word call to action, we often think about advertisements, but call to actions are used in all types of marketing, websites, blogs, podcasts, social media marketing, email marketing, and of course, YouTube marketing. Hi, I'm Kirsten and along with my business partner, Jeannie, we help busy entrepreneurs just like you learn how to leverage video marketing with the help of a marketing virtual assistant who can take care of all of the tasks on the back end. We are absolutely thrilled to have you here. If you find this video helpful, please like it, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when we post future videos. In today's video, I'm going to go over 12 different call to actions that you can use in your YouTube videos. We're also going to talk about opt-ins and how they can help you generate leads into your business and close sales. We'll also give you some ideas of some great opt-ins that you can use on your channel. So our first call to action is the most common call to action, and I'm sure you're very familiar with it. It's the subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. You'll hear that in a lot of YouTube videos. And I know one time a friend of mine said, but I hate when they say that, I know I'm supposed to subscribe, I know what to do, but the reality is most people don't. And you want to encourage people to subscribe to your channel and you wanna give them a great reason why, because you're gonna provide more tips and more value to them. You also wanna encourage them to ring the bell, that way they get notified so that they'll come back to your channel on a regular basis. So number two is like this video. That's a call to action to encourage people to like your content. And you can say things like, hey, like my video if you found it valuable, or hey, like this video so YouTube knows to show it to more people if you found it helpful. So you want to encourage people to like your video. So our third call to action goes like this. Make sure to stay till the end of this video. Now you're asking them to do something. You're asking them to watch the whole video to stay to the end, and you need to give them a reason why. If you remember my example, I said I would give you $10 million if you stay till the end of the video. Of course, that wasn't true, but it was to make a point. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna do a call to action like stay till the end of this video, you give them a great resource or a reason to do that. If you're gonna use the call to action stay till the end of the video, it could be for something simple like a bonus tip or an announcement. Most people know that YouTube is the second largest search engine next to Google, and of course it's owned by Google, but did you know that YouTube is the second largest social media platform right behind Facebook? So let's get social on YouTube. Now let's talk about how you can ask your viewer questions to get them engaged with you and start a conversation so that you can build a real relationship. So that's where number four comes in, engagement questions. Now let me give you an example. A great call to action for engagement might be something like this. Hey, in the comments below, let me know what call to actions are you using in your videos? So I've asked you a question, and now hopefully you're gonna to respond to that question in the comments below and we can start a conversation. You could also ask your viewers to ask you questions. Hey, if you have any questions about call to actions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back with you. It's really important that when people do comment on your videos or leave you questions that you do reply to them. And I'll have to be honest, I really enjoy this part of building our YouTube channel. And it's one of the first things I do in the morning because it, I don't know, it's fun and I enjoy interacting with people. And so I go in every morning and reply to all of our comments and answer any questions that have been asked. Number five, share this video. You can ask your audience to share the video if they found it helpful. Hey, if you found this video helpful and you know other entrepreneurs that might enjoy it, please feel free to share our video. We'd really appreciate it. So number six could be a call to action for your viewer to watch an additional video. If you're finding this video helpful, you may wanna watch this video up here. I didn't really put a video there, I'm just kinda of showing you. Or you may wanna say something like, hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure to check out the entire playlist. We're committed to helping you grow your YouTube channel to consistently generate leads. So those are call to actions to get them to stay on your channel, to continue to watch videos. 
And that's really important because YouTube wants people to stay on the platform as long as possible. So if you're encouraging your viewer to watch video after video, that's gonna make YouTube and the algorithm happy. Number seven, book a call. This is a great call to action because you're asking the viewer to schedule a time to speak with you. And that is a fantastic way to turn that lead into a sale. Number eight is an affiliate link call to action. This is where you're promoting something. It could be a camera or a software. And you let the viewer know that in the description below, you'll have a link to that product. This is also considered a call to action. So number nine's call to action is join our community. So this is something like, hey, make sure to join our private Facebook group because we host challenges and workshops in there and we often go live to answer your questions. So you can see I'm asking you to join a private Facebook group and I'm giving you reasons why. We offer challenges and workshops and we also answer your questions live in the Facebook group. So that's a call to action for joining my community. Number 10, sign up. This is where you're asking your viewer directly, hey, sign up for, sign up for my challenge or sign up for my course or sign up for my ebook. You're asking them to sign up for something of value to them. And remember, you're always gonna direct them to the description below where you'll have the link for them to sign up. Number 11 is to buy. You're asking your viewer to buy something. It may be something like, hey, I just published my latest book and you can buy it, I'll put a link in the description below. So again, number 11 is being very direct and just asking the viewer to buy something. So number 12, we're gonna talk about opt-ins and I'm gonna dig in a lot deeper on what an opt-in is and how you can use them. So let's jump into what are opt-ins and why are they important to you? Now you may have heard these terms, opt-in, freebie, opt-in, freebie, or lead magnet. Essentially, they're all the same thing. So here's a definition for you. A valuable incentive offered to people in exchange for their email address. Lead magnets simply imply that it's meant to attract leads and opt-in freebies are called as such because it's free and a person needs to opt in first to get it. When someone gives you their email address, they opt in, they get your freebie, you wanna make sure you're giving them something of value. This is your first opportunity to make a fantastic impression to show them that you deliver value that exceeds their expectation. Here are some ideas for some opt-in freebies that you may wanna consider. A guide or an ebook, checklist, templates or swipe files, webinar, workshop or training videos, a mini course or a program. These are all great ideas for opt-ins. You will most likely have more than one opt-in for your YouTube channel because your videos are gonna talk about different topics and your opt-ins need to relate to the topic in that video. You may wanna consider having an opt-in for each of your playlists. Your playlists are when you group videos of similar topics together, so it makes sense that the same opt-in would work for all of the videos in that playlist. If you would like to learn how to design a beautiful opt-in, make sure to check out this video, How to Use Canva to Create an Opt-in, and I'll link it above. And I will see you in the next video, and until then, dream big.